where does astrology fit in? This is interesting, isn't it? I'll tell you something which I don't don't say usually and you will never hear it from anywhere except one or two, you know, people like Sadhguru. And that is, you know, astrology is true. Astrologers are false. You know, I'll repeat this. It's very important. You see, if you are if if you have interest, this is like a mantra. Astrology is true. Astrologers are fakes, all fakes. I am not saying that there are no people who cannot know the future. I am not saying that. Uh, what I am saying is these people, they do not make a business out of that ability. They do not call themselves astrologers. Astrologer is a profession, you see, in India. It's everywhere in the world actually now. So that is a means to earn money. That's all it is. Now, if people are getting satisfied with whatever the astrologer is saying, then, you know, no complaints. Let it happen. Who cares? There is this placebo effect and all those things are there. So it is not astrology as per my little knowledge that I have. The astrology that was there is now lost. And astrology is not a numerical science. It is not something which you get by reading the book on astrology, by drawing the chart, by knowing the date of birth, by doing this and by doing that, uh, by knowing all the positions of the planets. You will become a good mathematician that way. You will not become an astrologer. What people do, there are books on the astrology and there are traditions that are in India. They are kept, kept a little bit secret because, you know, <laughs> related to money. And so, uh, it has all become like uh, a very crude thing. It is a science of the mind. It is a technology of the mind. So, yes, I am saying and that astrology is science. And if my submission is, if, if one understands astrology in its true sense of science, then it will prove the absence of free will. Yes, exactly, yes. Because if you can predict everything accurately... That means it is all determined. It's all already there. There is no time really. You see, if it is already there, is there something which is future? No. It is one solid block of past, present and future. It's a space-time. It's no, not really time. So, and you arrive at something which is nearer to the reality. It's all already there. It is merely appearing because of the activity of the mind. And the mind creates time out of this, its activity. It is going through the slices of this all that is already there. So this is a kind of a deeper thing which of which the evidence you will never get. <laughs> it is not self-evident. So uh, and as long as we are in Maya, well, this is kind of very difficult. Very difficult to see that uh, you know everything is already there. It, you go beyond Maya and you will see this. That can take some time. Astrology is not simply computing the positions and then looking in the book. Oh, this will happen because the book says it will happen. And that this is, you know, degraded, corrupted astrology. A true astrologer who knows, who knows how to, how to see what is, what has already happened. You see, you cannot say it is future. It has already happened. So, he has the mental ability. His mind is already on the higher layers in the realm of the universal mind. And so, the mind will fetch something, some information out of that and will speak like this. And it will be true. What do you mean by true? That exactly that will happen. Now, you can say that, oh, let us say that uh, he told me that... Uh, you are going to meet with a very bad accident next week. So what I'll do, I'll just stay at home. <laughs> and uh, this will never happen. Now this will falsify what he has told, isn't it? What the true astrologer has told. And uh, my uh, guess is that this will never happen. This will never happen. And otherwise he has said something which is not there. So I have talked about this, like it is very convoluted, it's a difficult thing to comprehend. So those who know the future cannot change the future. Those who think they can change the future, 
you know you want to know something because you want to change it you want to adapt yourself to that happening and that is not the future then because you have changed it so it is a paradox here you will need to approach and the past future and present from an ultimate point of view where there is no past there is no future and there is no present or you can say it's all present it's all present isn't it if there is no past and future then whatever remains is the present the presence is of the whole not of a slice of time the presence is always of the whole and everything that has happened has already happened in this presence it is eternal presence this is true astrology now you can come down a bit you see come down into maya take a step into the maya and you will encounter the akashic records you will encounter the akashic memory which i also call as the universal mind it is not a static memory it is very dynamic evolving memory because you have now left the ultimate you are now in the realm of change now you can read whatever has already happened if you can read that there is no way to change it you cannot do the whatever the astrologers tell you you know give me 1001 rupees and i'll clear this mess out of your life now is it is it possible is it the future then is it the future now clearing of the mess why did you predict that which was anyway not going to happen so you see the falsehood there you see <laughs> you see the illogical thing that the astrologers do now i'm not saying they will not predict they will sometimes especially the past it is my own experience that i met a few astrologers they, they correctly told my past as soon as it comes to the grah shanti or whatever you know they, they want to extract money out of you or the future especially the details of the future is not possible don't do anything they don't do anything about it it is all fake now since the jiva is determined by the memory you can you can correctly predict that this and this will happen in your life it is fully determined but again they won't tell you even if they know because they are spiritual people they are not in the business of telling this you go to a guru and they they know your all your lives you know present life future life past life everything uh, what will they say continue doing what you are doing <laughs> continue doing what you are doing what you are doing it is the best thing that is happening right now right here and because as soon as i say change this it is it is leading to something horrible change this and now there is a fakeness there there is a falsity there because you know if it is you can avoid that then it is not the future then it is not 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 happened in the future so how can you say that how can you change that which has not happened so as soon as you go into this kind of discussion of astrology being true then you will find no it's not and uh, uh, you go into the discussion which from the spiritual angle then you see the truth then you see how this maya works it is presenting you that which the which it is already there now it is up to the mind you see how evolved the mind is if it is not evolved it will see it as um situations that are not in its control and it wants to know what will happen what will happen because it sees that the day follows the night and night follows the day it wants to know what will follow in my life this is uh, what you call the cause and effect it has made a model of the reality and then it wants to know how where this thing is going it is not like this just like i said if you want to get into depths of the maya it will give you a headache that's why i don't talk <laughs> that's why i don't talk about such things so the practical thing to know is that yes this is maya so everything is possible it is possible to know the past possible to know everything know the future also but don't get into this astrologer stuff if you want to know really you know develop your mind to that extent then you will know this these people are called trikaldarshi by the way so and for them there is no past no future it is all here now sometimes they will say things but you if you want if you are really interested in astrology you should become a true astrologer 
Don't pay money to know that which is fake. Don't try to change it if you know that what it is. It is not possible, you see. There is no doer. It cannot change anything. Whatever is happening is perfect. There is no free will from the ultimate sense. It will appear as a series of events caused by the free will of the agent. This is how it appears. It is not like this. It will appear like a a moment to moment flow of time coming from the past going to the future this is how it will appear and it is our ignorance that we think it is true no there is no future there is no past and that's why it is completely here and now and that is the de- deep meaning of determinism determinism is not that you write a formula and it will happen like that the formula is predicting this may happen in case of the physical world for example as soon as you go into the higher layers of the mind no formula there i encourage you to explore the mind don't go to astrologer and do this kind of you know pay money and all you can but you know as an experiment only i did that i did that i went to few astrologers i saw that there are very very talented people <laughs> in india <laughs> i saw that there is some spiritual attainment and there are some abilities in the people now because i cannot prove it to you yeah i don't open my mouth on the path of knowledge evidence is everything isn't it we work from the evidence direct experience but it is my own you see interest i am interested in the weird crazy things so i keep doing and i found there is a truth mixed with falsehood because it is a possibility to know and the universal memory the akashic records it is possible you can attain that level get there and uh, you will find few examples here and there if you research as soon as money angle comes in as soon as it is made into a profession of astrologer <laughs> you must have read that thing on the pa- in the paper you know kumbh rashi you will get you will get money today you, and that's totally garbage you see how many people are there in kumbh rashi millions of people yes their future is there but not as written by the astrologer it's all garbage that's why i say um there is no such thing as astrologer now it is it's not there those who know they do not practice it they will not tell you and you want to know you know it yourself do the practice attempt to know the universal memory and then you will know everything once you know every everything that is in the universal memory you will lose interest in it it will be an extreme detachment of some kind it is like you know you watch a movie and then you don't want to watch it again why it's already there it's already known you will lose interest in it the events that are going to happen are going to look like possibilities and the more gross the layer of the mind is the more predictable it is for example you throw a stone in the air it will come down you can exactly predict where it is going to land this is the physical science isn't it this is the physics so but as soon as you go a little bit deeper you will say that the possibilities they become a really cloudy and that is quantum physics is it really deterministic no it is not it is statistical you can say not deterministic and if this is the characteristic of the mind you have you know realized one more characteristic of the maya that it is statistical in nature it is not deterministic not undetermined this is it appears as possibilities exactly like you said and your upaya can help to pick one of those possibilities now you are entering a total new subject here you see knowing things is one science changing things another science what is that called that in the tantra we call it the science of manifestation and now you will now you'll know what i'm talking about many people are trying to do these things <laughs> they are trying to bring things into their lives manifest i am not saying it's not possible everything is possible this is maya this is for our entertainment you know this is a game it is possible now the only thing is people don't know how to do that in the tantra there is a key word which i am going to give it to you because you are interested 
those who are interested will receive you see <laughs> there is a key word which i have learned and that is sankalp that is sankalp sankalp shakti it is also called intention in english it's not the exact translation intention they appear out of nowhere isn't it but sankalp is something which the tantric will do and will do it in a way that it becomes kind of crystallized it becomes solid in the mind this is done through ritual what you are calling as upaya is a ritual to crystallize your sankalp you can say in simple words that you form a very solid intention and force it by external means through a mantra repetition or through objects or there are very advanced ways to do that this is all the tantric science this is all lost you know to be frank <laughs> to be honest if you ask me show me i won't be able to show you i don't have that art but this is the key i know this only so i'm giving it to you and the upaya which the astrologer does amounts to you know zero nothing he has no sankalp sometimes he will tell you to hold the sankalp and that is you know that is a little bit honest astrologer there if you pay him money and he does the ritual well well it is all you know games of possibilities toss of coin may happen may not happen if you do it yourself hold the sankalp do the recommended ritual yourself then you can hope for a little bit of outcome there and if you do that you are in the domain of tantra now you are trying to control the maya which i am not saying it cannot be controlled you see you are the supreme we are all supreme so we can manipulate the game and those who evolve further they will be they will have this kind of ability that's what we call as siddhi the powers so <clears throat> predicting predicting the future and manipulating it there are two siddhis two minor powers if you are on the path if you are a spiritual person you will get this sooner or later there is no escape let me make it clear you will get this so my logical mind says that you do it anyway because you are reaching there only where the astrologer claims to be if you have a guru your guru is already there most probably your, your guru probably has this siddhi power already and if not then probably he has the knowledge that's all so i have this kind of theoretical knowledge so i am not practicing it because i know my spiritual practice will take me there anyway what is power shedding of your bondage shedding of your limitations now you know you are this in the monkey suit in the human form your your hands are tied you cannot do much you see You're simply looking at things that that are passing through this life very little ability to do anything as soon as you rise above the human you will you will your hands will be untied and then which you are able to do anyway will you will be able to do it but uh, the funny thing is you will lose all interest in manipulating <laughs> what is happening because you see it is being done at the most perfect way it is all happening in the most perfect way now you will identify with it and you you can say i am doing everything in the most perfect way already so yes in the maya is possible to manipulate maya and don't pay money you can do it yourself <laughs> and the only thing is if you use this power you will get entangled in this world because it's giving you the maya is giving you fruits and she will keep you tied here that is totally against our Uh, spiritual goal which is liberation from the maya so oh, yes those materialistic people they will do everything to stay here and they will use tantra to get whatever they are after a uh, spiritual seeker is satisfied content whatever is happening is perfect we do that which is necessary you know necessary to find and uh, necessary to live this life and we do it through ordinary means and that's why you will see this big rishis they lived very ordinary life they ate whatever was around them begged for food isn't it you may expect that oh there will they have so much power they can build castles gold and all well they see it as a waste for a for a realized person the gold and the stone one thing it is all appearance so we do not waste time like this we like an arrow we head for liberation <laughs> but people have 
so many paths you see they can take the more interesting paths and this boring head for liberation is very boring for the mind so you can take little bit curves here and there make it entertaining